All right, we're going to have a project today, and I think you're going to be pretty excited about it if you're like me and you're a cord cutter. Uh, we're going to implement a Plex DVR with a four tuner card. Now, the first thing we want to do is go to the Plex support site, which is support.plex.tv. And there's an article here, Supported DVR Tuners and Antennas. Uh, so we're going to scroll down and notice we have the Hapog, I think that's how you pronounce it, Win TV Quad HD card. Now this card will work with Windows and with Linux. And we're going to use Windows. I know a lot of people are going, Dr. Bill, surely you would use Linux. Well, I already had a Windows PC built. <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and use it. Um, and, you know, it does integrate well with our Windows network that we have here at home. So, okay, okay. You can throw your tomatoes at me. But <laughs> here it is, the Hapog uh, WinTV Quad HD card. Now, let's close this window here and take a look at it on the uh, Hapog web website. WinTV Quad HD, as you can see here, it is a PCIe card. Uh, it does use a uh, X1 connector uh, for PCIe, which is nice because I had a slot available in the uh, Dell 3020 that I, I was using or am using for this. And so we'll scroll down here and take a look at it. Notice it says... Win TV Quad HD, watch or record up to four TV programs at a time. And it even shows here in the software that they can display all four programs from the tuners. The big thing is it has four tuners built in, and they are high quality tuners. They will record up to four ATSC, which is the standard for digital television, or QAM HD programs, um, which I believe is, dig yes, digital cable. Uh, QAM is digital cable TV. Please contact your cable TV provider to see if clear QAM is available in your area. Uh, I'm not using that, so I don't care, but there you go if you want to use that. Now, I went ahead and purchased this card. It was $129 uh, and installed it in this system. Now, you get some software with it. The WinTV software, you have the advanced options and then you have the regular software. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, launch the software here. The card's already been installed. I'm not gonna go through that process. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and here we are. Now, uh, let me go into the program guide here. And you can see that the program guide has all the channels that I receive locally here um, off of the antenna. Now, this is the, as I say, this is the software that comes with it. Okay. Uh, we close this out. We can see the programs that are playing. I'm going to get out of that because I don't want any uh, copyright infringement hits. So uh, the point of this is that it integrates its own software and it also integrates a program guide. Now this downloaded, well I shouldn't say downloaded, it set up this link automatically, this program guide. And this is just a web-based connection to Titan TV. But I am fairly confident that it uses the information off of Titan TV to set up the uh, DVR at least within the Hapog software, the WinTV software. Uh, pretty sure that is the case. Plex, on the other hand, may get its program guide from another source. I'm not 100% sure, but that's okay. It works. <laughs> so, here's what we're going to do. If I close this out and we go down here to the tray and notice I have a Plex icon for Plex Media Server. We click on that. It opens up the local 
web-based connection to the Plex server, uh, which is why it's using the 127.0.0.1. And then on port 32400, uh, it has a web interface. Now I'm going to go over here and go to live TV and DVR on the TV server, which is what I'm calling this Dell uh, 3020 box. And you notice here that I have a list of the programs. We just saw Ellen DeGeneres was playing there on channel two uh, at on this you know particular moment that I'm recording this. Now we can be in the guide here or we can go over here to DVR schedule. And here you can see the programs that I've set up to record. Uh, I've already gone through the week and set up the programs that I would normally record. And last night it recorded some programs already. So uh, I've already watched The Flash and deleted that, so that's why we don't have a, a play button here. But each one of these that have a play button, we could go ahead and play and we would be able to watch the programs that I recorded from last night. Now, today, Kung Fu will be recording uh, at 9 o'clock. And you notice it says 8.59. The reason is I've got the software set to record an extra minute before and an extra minute after a program. Now, obviously, if they're back-to-back, -back, it won't do that. But I just like to have a little padding. <laughs> okay, so there's that. Uh, if we want to go into the... Uh, settings and then scroll down here to live DVR you can see here is my win TV quad HD cards there's two tuners both of these have to be set up now this is interesting when I first put the card in here and came to this option which by the way is up here under settings and then you come down here to live TV and DVR. You can set these up and it, it will search for the uh, Quad HD card that is installed in the machine. I'm on the machine that the card is in, okay? And I've installed Plex, which I got off the Plex website. And it found one <laughs> of the uh, tuners initially and I was able to set it up and I thought okay where's the other one <laughs> so I got out I got back in I came back in and it showed that I had another one that hadn't been set up so I had to then set it up now I don't know if you're gonna run into this every time you install you know every time a new installation occurs that's just the way it happened for me don't get discouraged <laughs> If you don't see your other card you can pull it back in now the other thing I noticed is is that it showed 20 some channels on one 31 channels on the other so I actually had to go into uh, the settings and oh by the way uh, a point here I went into settings and set this up convert video while recording to transcode there's only two options off and transcode I went ahead and set it to transcope. That wasn't what I was wanting to show you. Let me uh, click on, yeah, here we go. Click on this, and here we go. You see the channels after you scan them show up here. It shows up the signal strength and what they are. Now, you have to select the channels. That's why there's a button up here to select all. You select all the channels. The other thing you have to do, this is important, I missed this at first and I was getting a little frustrated until I figured it out. This drop down shows all the channels. It has to display the channel that it is showing for this number. So 2.1 has to match 2.1. I know that seems fairly straightforward, but for whatever reason, when I had to come back in here and add in the PBS channels on uh, let's see 26 dot one two three and four these weren't showing up it showed up as select channel rather than as the number it should have been 
And so I had to select it. I just missed that. Why it didn't do that for every channel? Again, I don't know. But you have to make sure that all of these match. 26.2 has to be 26.2, etc. You can then save it and step through the interface. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I've already scanned and, and set up both of these tuners. But both of these tuners should match. 31 channels, 31 channels. Your channels will vary. You will have a different list of channels. But this is mine. So the reason you want these to match is because you want to be able to have all four tuners available on all channels. Do you see that? <laughs> this could get a little, a little technical here. So bear with me. If you have a list here of 21 channels and a list here of 31 channels, you're going to have 10 channels that don't match, and so you'll only have that tuner. Each tuner has two tuners built into it, so a total of two tuners with two tuners built into it gives us four, which is where the quad HD tuners come in. Okay? So that's how you set it up. Now, you could also come here and add a device if you had a network-based um, tuner box like the HD Home Run. The HD Home Run is the only one that I know of that is um, compatible with Plex. The Tableau is not. I wish it was. I hope one day they will be because I have a Tableau. But it isn't. But if I if I could add the Tableau, I would click Add Device, go out across the network, find the Tableau, and it would add it in. Okay. Uh, so that's how you do that. That's that's your setup. Now let's go back to the home here and go to um, TV SVR and Live TV again. And here is the guide. And this is what I want to show you about the guide. The guide imports in from whatever source Plex is using for the guide. And actually goes out quite a few days, which is nice. Because you can go, so to speak, into the future. You know, uh, scroll ahead up here. And find programs that you want to set up to record. And setting them up to record is really pretty straightforward um, you know there's not a whole lot of stuff here that I would be interested in recording but uh, let's just say I wanted to record daytime jeopardy I could click on that and I could either watch it or record it if I wanted to record it I would click here I could record just this episode or all episodes and it automatically defaults to new airings only. I am really glad <laughs> that it doesn't have to make me choose each time. Okay? Uh, I don't want to see repeat airings. I just want to see new airings. So it defaults to that. So that's good. You then want to add it to your library. Now, your library is set up separately. Let's go look at that. Cancel out of here. And uh, we'll go back up here to our settings and go to library. Now, setting up your library, you have all these various options. But the key is, let me manage libraries. There we go. TV shows is where it's going to record TV shows. We want to edit the library. What I've done is I've set this up to go onto a network folder that I have attached to this computer as M, okay? And it is in the uh, TV shows directory on M. And you can browse for media folders and you can find a folder. Now this happens to be on a network system that has a very large hard drive. So that's where I'm storing my TV shows you can choose a particular library when they call what they call a library within Plex is really a uh, directory on a hard drive okay so 
you can set up a separate folder or file or um, library as they say here uh, for each one of these options and what I've done is set it to a different file shared option for each one of these things um, then it will Plex will take care of the metadata it will take care of the files and the upkeep of the files you can do everything through the interface once you set all that up uh, which I really like now these are all the various movies and things that I have out there I can choose specifically movies and see the ones that I personally have uh, including like this is one of my dad uh, that I put out here so it's so to speak a private movie but it even keeps up with those um, my music I have all kinds of music out here other videos photos and TV shows TV shows see these are the ones that I've recorded notice how it's set up the season information the uh, thumbnail for it etc and I could click right here and play that episode that I recorded last night of NCIS uh, other things that I've already put out here on Plex like uh, the first season of Picard is out here as well so all of this is available now the nice thing is this is available through a any Plex client on the network now I have in order to make all this work I had to purchase Plex pass it's a lot of peas <laughs> Plex pass uh, which is a yearly purchase license for Plex that I have tied to my account and it allows me to use uh, multiple Plex servers on my network and have access to the DVR and the functionality of the DVR so this all works really well I am really pleased with it and I think that you'll find that for the cord cutter this is a great way to go to organize your video organize your TV watching and uh, yeah I watch entirely too much TV 